Hi, happy Mardi Gras, first and second graders. Ms. Frugge, Ms. Bristow, and I are excited to present our virtual Mardi Gras math event. Each first and second grader will receive a fun math packet to complete over the next few days. Each student will receive a booklet, a free math mini book of word problems. Well, let's take a look at how to complete this activity. Each student will receive a math book that says Mardi Gras math. Will be completed by your child with assistance with parents, of course. The front page will have a fun coloring sheet that I think all students will enjoy doing. The next following three pages will consist of a word problem mini book. All first and second graders have been taught the strategy of read, draw, and write. Most first and second graders know how to solve problems using this strategy. First, you read the problem. It's recommended that you read the problem two times. Also, you can circle any important numbers that are found or given in the problem. Step two is the strategy to draw the problem. Now, we want to remember to draw the problem by drawing simple math circles. Remember, draw the circles in a five group row so that your drawing is neat, organized, and easy to see. Also, in addition to drawing, it's very important to label your drawing. Why do you want to label it? Because it really helps to keep your drawing neat and organized, and you won't get confused that way. And the last step, we always want to write our answer. We always want to write a number sentence to that, that actually accompanies or is aligned with the story. A number sentence can be an addition sentence or a subtraction sentence. And finally, always write your answer in a complete statement with a capital letter, of course, and ending with a punctuation mark. Well, Let's take a look at what's in the packet. The first page, as you're looking, it says Mardi Gras Math A Word Problem Mini Book. The first story is Mardi Gras means Fat Tuesday and is a time of fun. Mardi Gras is 47 days before Easter. So the number 47 with counters, 10 and 1. Now, if you don't have counters, you can use other counting tools, such as dry beans, even dry pasta shells. All of these tools can be found at home, and they make for great fun math manipulatives. Let's take a look at the second problem. People celebrate by collecting colorful beads. Jan got eight strands of beads. Later, she got six more strands. That night, she got seven more. How many strands of beads did Jan collect? Write an equation. Well, for the first graders, drawing the problem can help a great deal. Remember? Keep your drawings neat, organized, and labeled. Second graders who have a little bit more knowledge probably can quickly go straight to the number sentence or the equation without drawing. But it's still a good idea to make sure you draw and label. And also complete the sentence provided. She collected blank bead strands. Let's take a look at the next one. Jan collected blank strands of beads. 
her friend Mary got 20 strands of bees? Who got a greater number of bees? Compare how many bees each girl collected using the number symbols provided. The greater than symbol, less than, or the equal sign. Blank has the greatest number of bees. In the blank, you can select your number. For Jan collected blank strands of bees. Let's take a look at the next problem. King cake is a favorite treat on Mardi Gras. Color, I cake yellow. Sorry, color, one cake yellow. Color, one cake green. Color, two cake purple. Tell about the fraction. Blank is green. Blank is yellow. And last, blank is purple. Next, Mike's family had a Mardi Gras party. 25 people came to the party. After dinner, 12 left to go to the parade. How many people were left at Mike's party? Write an equation. Of course, drawing simple math circles can assist. And you can fill in the blank. There are blank people left at the party. Tom went to a Mardi Gras parade where people on the float were throwing the balloons. Those are colorful coins out to the crowd. Tom got seven doubloons. Use green, yellow, and purple to create a pattern with the doubloons. Then tell about the pattern. Of course, crayons would be helpful for this problem. And then use the line below to tell or describe the pattern. And finally, the parade was so much fun. It finally ended at 7.30 p.m. So 7.30 on the clock. Happy Mardi Gras. So on this problem, you would simply draw the hand on this clock provided. And of course, drawing, I'm sorry, of course, coloring this page would be fun. Okay, boys and girls, well, this concludes our fun Mardi Gras math. I hope you, possibly your family, your mom, dad, or siblings, have a great time completing your math packet. Parents, please look forward to your child coming home soon with this little math mini book. Well, I hope all of the Mardi Gras revelers have a wonderful time. Happy Mardi Gras!